In late 2025, pressure began shifting inside the wide-body aircraft market. Major airlines publicly signaled demand for larger twin-engine aircraft before any new model entered service. Among them was Emirates, the world's largest operator of long-haul widebodies. That demand emerged while Boeing's 777X remained uncertified and undelivered, and while Airbus quietly evaluated a larger A350 variant. Emirates executives stated in public forums that existing wide-body offerings do not fully meet capacity requirements on certain long-haul routes. The airline indicated interest in a larger Airbus A350 variant positioned above the A350-1000. Emirates leadership confirmed that discussions with Airbus about a stretched A350 had been ongoing for years. The airline operates one of the highest-density global networks, and requires aircraft capable of carrying more passengers than the A350-1000 while retaining twin-engine efficiency. The Airbus A350 program entered service in 2015 with the A350-900, followed by the A350-1000 in 2018. By 2025, more than 600 A350 aircraft had been delivered worldwide. The type accumulated millions of flight hours across global operators. The aircraft is certified in full airline service and supported by established maintenance and training infrastructure. Airbus has stated that the A350 platform was designed with structural margin for future growth. Airbus executives have acknowledged that studies are ongoing for a larger A350 variant, commonly referred to in the industry as A350-2000. The concept centers on a fuselage stretch beyond the A350-1000, adding capacity while retaining the existing wing and flight deck architecture. Airbus has not announced specifications or launch timing. No formal program has been launched. The evaluation remains tied to airline demand and industrial capacity. The Boeing 777X program was launched in 2013. It includes the 7779 and the 7778. Boeing initially targeted entry into service around 2020. That schedule slipped multiple times. As of now, neither variant has entered airline service. Certification delays stemmed from structural testing findings, design changes, and expanded regulatory oversight following earlier safety crises. The 777X incorporates a new composite wing with folding wing tips, new GE9X engines, and revised systems architecture. These changes require full certification under updated regulatory frameworks. The Federal Aviation Administration increased direct oversight of Boeing programs, extending testing timelines and documentation reviews. In 2021, Boeing paused 777X certification flights after inspections identified quality process concerns. Flights later resumed, but delivery timelines continued to move. Orders for the 777X are heavily concentrated in the 777 the 777 has fewer than two dozen firm orders as of 2025. No airline has taken delivery of either model. Several customers deferred deliveries or adjusted fleet plans due to uncertainty. Airlines extended the service life of existing aircraft to cover capacity gaps. Airbus benefits from an aircraft already operating under existing certification. A stretched A350 would remain within the same type rating. Pilots trained on the A350 would not require full transition training. Maintenance programs already exist. Spare parts inventories are established. These factors reduce introduction cost and operational risk for airlines. Operating economics play a central role in fleet decisions. The A350-1000 uses Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines that have accumulated extensive in-service data. Airlines report high dispatch reliability. Incremental improvements to the A350 family have continued through software updates and weight reduction since entry into service. The 777X introduces first-of-type risks. Airlines must invest in new simulators, new spare inventories, and revised maintenance programs before revenue operations begin. These costs accrue during delays. The longer certification extends, the longer airlines operate without delivery revenue. Market demand has evolved since the Triple S EV ENX was launched. 
Airline schedule data shows growth concentrated in frequency rather than maximum seat count. Many carriers retired four-engine aircraft earlier than planned. Fleet simplification became a priority between 2020 and 2023. Aircraft capable of serving multiple mission profiles gained preference. Airbus has stated that the A350 family covers the majority of long-haul city pairs currently flown. A larger variant would target the remaining high-density segment while retaining operational flexibility. The 777X was designed primarily to replace the 777-300ER on dense trunk routes. Growth on those routes has been slower than forecast. In 2024 and 2025, Emirates publicly expressed frustration with ongoing 777X delays. The airline adjusted capacity planning and extended the service life of existing aircraft. Lufthansa and other carriers acknowledged later delivery timelines. These statements reflect schedule conditions rather than aircraft performance. An A350 stretch would not require a new production system. Final assembly lines are active. Supply chains are established. Certification would focus on structural changes rather than clean sheet approval. Airbus used similar approaches on other aircraft families, reducing time to market. The competitive pressure is driven by timing. The A350 family is already embedded in airline fleets. The Triple S E7X remains in pre-service status. A stretched A350 would enter a market where the Triple S E7X is still stabilizing. That gap is defined by delivery records, certification milestones, and existing operational data. Boeing 777X's 2026 dream just got real. As after years of delays, testing pauses, and shifting timelines, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration cleared the Boeing 7779. The approval did not involve a public ceremony or a delivery announcement, but it removed one of the largest remaining obstacles standing between the aircraft and entry into airline service. The FAA's approval covers a major update to the 777's flight control software. Regulators had previously identified issues related to system behavior and flight control logic during certification reviews. These concerns were part of a broader wave of scrutiny applied to all new Boeing aircraft following changes in FAA oversight standards after the 737 MAX accidents. Until this software was cleared, large portions of certification testing and compliance validation could not move forward. The newly approved update addresses how the aircraft's flight control systems respond in specific operating conditions. According to regulatory disclosures summarized in late 2025 reporting, the FAA evaluated the revised software against updated safety criteria designed to prevent unexpected system responses. The clearance confirms that the software now meets the agency's current certification requirements, allowing Boeing to resume critical phases of certification testing that had remained stalled. This decision removes a major regulatory roadblock that had weighed on the 777 program for several years. The aircraft was originally expected to enter service in the early 2020s, but repeated delays pushed timelines further into the future. As of late 2025, first deliveries are now expected in 2026, contingent on the completion of remaining certification steps. The FAA's software approval is a prerequisite for reaching that target. For airlines that ordered the 777, the approval marks a shift from uncertainty toward planning. Many customers have waited years beyond original delivery schedules, forcing them to adjust fleet plans, extend older aircraft leases, or acquire interim capacity. With the software issue resolved, airlines can now begin more concrete preparations related to crew training, maintenance planning, and route deployment, even though final certification has not yet been completed. The 777 is the largest variant of the 777X family and is designed to replace high-capacity long-haul aircraft such as the Boeing 777-300ER and, in some fleets, the Airbus A380. It features new composite wings, folding wing tips to maintain airport compatibility, and updated systems architecture. These changes, while central to the aircraft's performance goals, also added complexity to the certification process under stricter regulatory oversight. Boeing's relationship with the FAA has been fundamentally reshaped over the past several years. The regulator now applies deeper involvement in certification reviews, particularly for software and flight control systems. The 777 software approval reflects this new environment. Rather than incremental sign-offs, 
Each major system now requires extensive validation before the program can advance. The clearance signals that at least one of the most challenging regulatory hurdles has been addressed. The approval also carries competitive implications. Boeing has faced pressure in the wide-body market as delays eroded its advantage against Airbus. While Airbus's A350 family does not directly match the 777's maximum capacity, it has benefited from being available and certified while the 777 remained grounded. The prospect of 777 deliveries beginning in 2026 restores a degree of balance in the large wide-body segment, particularly for airlines that require very high seat counts on long-haul routes. Financially, the delay of the 777X program has had significant consequences for Boeing. Extended development timelines have increased costs and deferred revenue, while uncertainty affected customer confidence. Clearing the software issue reduces program risk and improves visibility for both Boeing and its customers. While the approval does not end all challenges, it represents progress that had not occurred for several years. From a regulatory standpoint, the FAA's decision also reflects its approach to post-MAX safety reforms. The agency has emphasized system transparency, predictable behavior, and pilot awareness in all new aircraft certifications. By approving the revised 777-9 software, the FAA confirmed that the aircraft's systems align with these updated expectations. This sets a framework for evaluating remaining elements of the certification program. The timeline ahead remains structured but demanding. Additional testing, documentation reviews, and operational evaluations must still be completed before the aircraft can receive full certification. Boeing must also demonstrate manufacturing consistency and quality controls that meet regulatory standards. The software approval allows these steps to proceed but does not guarantee final certification on a specific date. As of December 2025, the 777 remains in flight testing and certification is still ongoing. However, the FAA's approval of the updated flight control software marks one of the most tangible advances the program has seen in years. It signals regulatory alignment, reopens certification pathways, and brings the possibility of 2,026 deliveries into focus after a long period of uncertainty. At a time when Boeing is under pressure to redefine its wide-body strategy, the company is advancing plans for what it describes as its most ambitious passenger aircraft concept yet, the Boeing 777. This plane is intended to be the largest twin-engine jet ever proposed, and Boeing views its role as critical to regaining strength in the long-haul market over the next decade. The 777-10 is a planned variant within Boeing's 777X program. Boeing has described it as the largest twin-engine passenger aircraft it intends to offer. The aircraft is proposed as a stretch of the 777 designed to carry more passengers on high-density long-haul routes. Boeing has stated that the 777-10 is meant to serve markets once dominated by very large four-engine aircraft, which airlines have been retiring in increasing numbers. The concept relies on twin-engine certification rather than four engines. Boeing intends the aircraft to be powered by the General Electric GE-9X, which is already under development for the 777 -9. The GE-9X is designed to deliver more than 100,000 pounds of thrust and meet current noise and emission standards. Boeing's planning assumes that two such engines would provide sufficient performance to support the aircraft's proposed size and weight while maintaining long-range capability. 